Guys, so today I will be teaching you how to use replay mod. So the first thing that you want to do is if you use Badline Client replay mod, you want to click right shift, boom, and then search a replay mod. Replay, and then you can set this up. You can, um, you can follow my settings. And then if you if you want to start recording you press P for me and stop recording you press P too. The next thing is to find the clips. So you wanna you wanna play the recording and you can record whatever you want. I'm gonna record um, me playing Bad Wars and yeah I'm gonna try to find a good recording. Okay, so after you have done your recording, you open in the replay viewer, open up your replay, and then you can move around freely, like in creative mode. Yeah, so you just skip to where you make the clip. So I'm gonna find the good clip in this recording. And the basics are for clear uh, keyframes um, B is for the player list you can hide them you can show them and you can press T to show the cursor this is so useful in when I first started I didn't know how to press the keyframe on here but turns out you need to press T to show this and then you can play this you can stop you can add keyframes and you can open this too this is all the all, all the buttons you can use so L to roll sideways to the right and K to to make it to normal J is for leaning to the left and that's basically what I use. Oh, and after you you press T, if you wanna do something or or yeah something, and then you want to move, you can't. But you need to press Escape to hide the cursor, and now you can move. And this is your timeline. You can drag it here, boom, and then it fast forwards. Yeah. And you can move. Oh, and you're and if you're stuck in this player, um, you can you can shift to go out of your player. The P button is for um, play and pause. Okay, so I want to start up, start my clip here, and then you need to press T, and you need to press this plus button. So, um, for the default, it will be one minute, one minute, and then you should make it either ten seconds or fifteen seconds. Uh, come on, come on, come on, hurry up! Okay, so this is five. I want to make it 10 okay this is 10 seconds and then don't forget to press escape to move again so the first thing you do is you put a camera keyframe so you want your camera to be looking at your character you press this and then you should press this so you need to play it and then you want to go here it's up to you the movement you want to go here or here or here but I want to go here and then you can tilt I'm gonna tilt to the left and then press V to synchronize um, so your character doesn't move slow or fast so it will be normal speed and then press another keyframe a camera and a normal keyframe and then you don't forget to press escape and then move to the next keyframe you want to 
place it. So I'm gonna see. I wanna go here first. So you need to play it and then press V and it will automatically go from here to here so it will synchronize the time so the character so it won't be slow or fast. Place keyframes, escape and then what's my next move? Okay so I'm gonna kill him, I'm gonna go down here from there, V, press keyframes and then I killed him and then I got the bed so I'm gonna end that clip there don't forget to press V keyframes and then you can see your what you made here oh no why is that doing that it's a glitch I'm gonna just pause it first I'm gonna go out and then open again and then I'm gonna see what I made so yeah so the the this thing the oh my gosh the blinky thing uh, I think that's a bug I think when it's rendered it's not it's not gonna be like that so this is what I made just ignore the blinky um screen and then boom yeah, that's what I made. Okay guys, so another thing that you can do is you can take a screenshot. So if you want to take a screenshot like this, you can hide the DUI by pressing F1 and then you can take a screenshot like normal F2. So you can, this is really helpful. This is really helpful for if you want to make a thumbnail and stuff. And just find the screenshot in the dot minecraft and go to the screenshot folder and it should be there so when you want to render it and if you like your clip press T and then go to this icon here and then encoding presets you can change it to high quality medium quality low quality lossless custom bitrate but i'm gonna use the default one high quality video resolution that's um uh don't change that from the default one video bitrate you can you can you can change it but i'm not gonna change it you can also change the video frame rate i'm just gonna put it in 60 and this is what you name it you can name it anything you want um i'm gonna name it replay mod tutorial okay so once you already do this you want to click render so it will render you can show preview Oh no, why is it blinky? It's just a uh, glitch, so maybe when you do it, it's not gonna be blinky. But right now, it's um, it's doing like this. It's a glitch. I usually make it and there's no blink thing. And then, end up, there's this bad line climb thing. You can just easily cut that out in your editor. And then the recording it's not blinking like when we saw the preview and then yeah that's what i made okay guys so if you don't have the render thing the render sign you can just easily go open your folders wait i'm gonna close this open your folders and you can press windows and r at the same time so it will come out like this run and then you can just type in percent app data percent press ok go to dot minecraft go to replay videos and it should be here